According to the World Health Organization, health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. There is no doubt that we can see the sexual part contemplated, right? However, it's pretty common for some people to leave sexual health out of the self-care equation, not because of its lack of importance but because of a bunch of fears derived from prejudices, feelings of shame or guilt. Stigma and misinformation feed the belief that sexually transmitted infections tests are for certain people. While, in reality, anyone can be exposed to getting and or transmitting STIs. So, when should I test for an STI? The ideal routine checkup for early detection should be every three to six months, or at least once a year, without necessarily being involved in any exposure situation. Whether forced or consensual, after situations in which unprotected sexual intercourse occurred you have the right to get emergency medical care, and if desired, psychological as well. HIV post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, and, if required, emergency contraception. For other types of infections, it is advisable to consult which tests are available and, based on this, find out how much time should pass, window period, so the tests can offer reliable results. Whether it is a routine checkup or a special appointment due to circumstances that require it, once the decision is made, here are some tips on going to an STI testing. Research about the tests and centers you can assist to. Ask someone to accompany you. Do not let the decision cool off and keep your gaze firmly on the target, which is to take care of your body and your health as a whole. Lastly, once there, get the most out of the experience. Don't be shy about asking everything you need to know about sexual health, infections, how to protect yourself, etc. Speaking of getting the most, you can always consult with us about anything regarding safe sex.